And thanks for dropping by on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That said, let's get to it. How to cut chicken breast into cubes. So to get started, we're gonna need ourselves a chopping board and a knife. Uh, now I've actually sharpened up this knife just before, just to make sure that we can cut through it um, smoothly. Uh, so we're gonna actually also put our uh, chopping board on top of a towel so it doesn't move around too much. And we're gonna get ourselves a gorgeous piece of chicken breast. So this is the complete chicken breast with tenderloin. So we're gonna get rid of the tenderloin first. As you can see, it's just hanging off the corner down there. So we're gonna take, get rid of that and then we're gonna get into chopping up our chicken breast. So chicken breast I think is just a really handy, helpful um, meat that's quite versatile. And I know a lot of people use it. And so I thought it'd be helpful to actually do a quick demo on how to cut it. As you can see here, I've just kind of gone across that little um, line that separates the tenderloin from the chicken breast. And I've just gone in with the knife like that. And again, a sharp knife always helps in this situation. Now we've got the rest of the chicken breast that we're gonna start with. And you'll notice that this pot's thicker and this pot's thinner. So first we'll do a bit of a divide and conquer. So we're just gonna go immediately sort of halfway across to just kind of get rid of the thinner part and put that to the side and then we'll work on the thicker part first. So nice and smooth, just down the middle like that. And that's, that's a good size for chicken breasts that's been cubed. And so that's a good thickness that we don't need to um, further cut through. However, this is a little bit thicker. So we're gonna actually cut through that. We're gonna go um, across and be a bit careful with this. Make sure your hands are on top and that you've got the chicken breast sort of in a comfortable way that you can kind of go through like that. And so really smoothly, as smoothly as you can, just kind of go across and kind of keep doing that. What I'm doing is I'm putting some pressure on the top to make sure that it doesn't actually um, cut too high up and too low down. So that even pressure from the top keeps the knife going at a steady rate in the middle as well. And so that's just gonna come all the way out to the other side and voila. And that board ended up moving with me, which is funny. Uh, but what we have here now is two chicken breasts. So they're roughly of equal uh, thickness. So there we go, it's kind of similar to the thickness of the one that we cut before. Um, so really nice. And then this one's of that thickness as well. So we're gonna keep this guy on top um, just the way it was before. And we're actually just gonna kind of start to cube it up as we go. So now the trick here is, is that we do need to make sure that we don't cut with the grain or don't cut entirely against the grain. We kind of wanna do a 40 degree angle, which is usually, sort of if I were to bring it close enough to you to see. So that's the grain going down that way. So we don't wanna go that way, nor do we wanna go exactly that way. We kinda of wanna go on the 40 degree angle. So that's what I'm gonna do. And here we go. Nice little cubes and chunks that we'll get at the end of this. Again, a sharp knife really helps the process along. Otherwise you're gonna be trying to, I suppose, grudge away at it. The real trick here is basically making sure that it feels like you're cutting butter. So if it doesn't feel like you're cutting butter, then you probably need to go shop in your knife. So there we go. Now I'm literally just gonna flip the board because it's easier for me to cut on that angle. And I'm gonna go at, again, a cube length there. So it's sort of the same length on both sides. And I let the first cut determine the second cut. You get a bit of bits and bobs that aren't exactly the right size as the rest, but that's okay. That's probably um, half of the course. Uh, what ends up being more important is that 80% of your cubes are roughly around the same size, again, plus minus. And so keep going all the way through. There we go. And give this last few final cut because they're the longer pieces. And there you go, you've got your chicken breast. So that's just from that first um, half of the breast that was quite thick. And I'm just gonna put him into a bowl so we have enough space to keep going with the rest. And that should do it. Flipping back to the way we were, grabbing onto the other half of the breast that doesn't need to be um, sliced at all like in the middle because it's thin enough. And again, just 
bearing in mind that the grains are here going this way. So again, we don't really want to go kind of that way. We kind of just want to go against the grain at a 45 degree angle. And so here I go again, very much that cutting butter. And this really makes sure that you get a tender sort of juicy um, cooked chicken breast cube. Because when you cut, as I mentioned before, when you cut against or uh, so when you cut against the grain, then when you cook the chicken because it's against the grain, the chicken starts to peel off. And so you don't want that because you want your chicken to be stuck together. And uh, when you do it the, the length uh, uh, with the grain, then it becomes really stringy and that's no fun either. So here we go from one corner to the other. As you can tell, I'm cutting slightly against the grain, which is why it's wobbly. And that, now that. And those pieces are small enough, then that should finally do it. So again, here we go, uh, some chicken breast. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to do up the tenderloin as well. So putting that again to the side. And finally, we have our chicken tenderloin or chicken tenders. So this guy is extremely, like you'll probably see that this is used often to make chicken tenderloins and um, other types of snacks that you can find in restaurants. I'm just gonna peel away that layer off the top uh, to start and then we'll kind of go at it. Now, again, it's the same, um, remembering that chicken tenderloin is very tender. So it's not gonna be like a chicken breast, doesn't eat long to cook. In fact, I often keep the chicken tender uh, loin to the side because it it's actually doesn't need as much time to cook as I said. So it can go in slightly after the chicken breast goes in just to make sure it doesn't cook for too long. All right. So again, here we have um, a thick, a wider at the top, thinner at the bottom, and roughly same thickness. I'm going to cut it in half to make sure that this bottom part here, down here, kind of gets um, uh, cut into smaller pieces. And then the top part, I'm going to slice up into half. So it's always a divide and conquer, isn't it? Now, I'm going to do this one first because it's nice and neat. And we are going one, two, three, and voila, that's all done. And this guy is a really thin piece at the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut that off and actually go in half C's on this and half C's on that. And that should all be roughly the same size. And so there you have it, chicken breast chopped up for you. Um, again, making sure that you, you have a sharp knife going against the, not with or against the grain, but on a 45 degree angle and you have chicken breast. And I did that really quick. So ready to go for a stir fries, curries, whatever you like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more culinary content coming your way.